minus one in the second half. We really keyed on him. Uh, Jeff Tisdale, the Nevada, said we've got to do something with Saladin McKellar. We have to contain him. Showing blitz. Up screen to Salah. Got it. And he's at the end zone. Touchdown, Sidney McKellar. Looked like a, a replay of Oregon's Dino Filio against Oregon State a couple of years ago. That's the day have been a very good screening team, but more so around the goal line. Situation like that, it's a great thing to cover the blitz. Saladin made a one-hand juggling catch, stood away. And this guy can hurt you on kickoff returns. He can hurt you as a pass receiver. Woo! There's an Oregon player down on the 12-yard line. Well, well, that's a nice catch, one hand. Out, and the, the man down. Got it from behind, yeah. A player fell right on the back of his legs. Well executed, well blocked. DeVries, a junior from Salinas, born in Sweden. The Ducks can't afford injuries in a thin offensive line as it is. DeVries is one of the few upperclassmen in that offensive line. One of the better all-round uh, offensive lineman athletes last year, he played both ways in a couple games. Yeah, in the same game, good point. You watch the ball, Moss gets it off right before Williams gets there. So you're gonna see right James on the back Canada of the leg. rolled him up from behind. And then the swipe by Morgan on McCullough, who scores his second touchdown of the day, one through the air and one on the ground. And I think there's a pretty good block by Tony Hartley, the wide receiver on the play as well. Oh, that's tough on linemen when guys are falling on the back of your legs. And uh, DeVries gets up a little gingerly. Hope it's not too serious. But Mike Bellotti, I don't want to say he's relieved, but for the first time today, Oregon has the lead. And this is a big extra point. We make it a four point game. But with that exception, we've not seen a lot of injuries the first two games on the Oregon side. Josh Bidwell, the punter, is the holder here. Good snap, and the kick is up, and it is through. So a timeout on the field, seven minutes and seven seconds remaining in regulation. Oregon has the lead for the first time, 17-13.